Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. In these clips that I've been putting together, I will help you solve the math problems that appear in the official SAT study guide. There are eight exams in this book. Each exam has three math sections, and I will try to do as many as I can and put the clips on the YouTube. What I've been doing in addition to that is I've been putting together a DVD, a one-hour DVD, which contains a solution to the problems that appear in each of the, each of the section. There are, there are three DVDs for each of the exam, and then in those DVDs I put, down, put, uh, put the solutions together uh, of the problems one after the other without any interruptions without any sales pitch you know. and hope is that you will watch these clips, you will like what you see, you will find it helpful and that you will find it worthwhile to buy the DVDs so that you don't have to watch one problem here and there and there. You can, you can watch the whole section in one DVD and all set. Anyway, right now I'm going to solve problem number 15 which appears uh, from exam number 2, section number 3, page number 463, problem number 15. After watching the clips, if you find it helpful, send me comments or as I said before, if you wish to do, buy the DVD, here is my website address www.prep, P-R-E-P, for F-O-R, S-A-T.com. Let's get going. You can also call me up on my toll-free number, which is on the website, uh, if you are in the U.S. That is... If you are outside the uh, if you are outside the U.S., uh, please don't call me on the toll-free number. Uh, send me an email, and I will take care of it. Problem number fifteen. It says m is the greatest prime factor of thirty-eight. M is the greatest prime factor. Of 38. We'll worry about that in a second as to what that means. And n is the greatest, n is the greatest prime factor of 100. The question simply is what's the value of n plus n? So it seems like all we have to do is find the greatest prime factor of these numbers and just add them up. That's all. Before we talk about the greatest prime factor, what I will do just right now is to make a list of all the factors of these numbers, all of them. Let's start with 100, which is which is more interesting. Can you give me? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this thing right now because you have the problem in front of you. You have the problem in front of you. I don't want to occupy the space here. I need I need more room here. Can you give me all the factors of one uh, 100? In other words, all the numbers that 100 will go even into, systematically, without skipping anything. That's the key part here. Let's start there. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. These are the factors of 100. Similarly, I'm going to make a list of the factors of 38. 1, of course. 2, of course. Then what? 1, 2, and what? There you go. 19. That's it. Now let's talk about prime factors. Before we can talk about prime factors, we have to talk about prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are special numbers, numbers that go only in themselves and one. Only in, the, in themselves and one. But of course, that part is irrelevant because everything goes into one. So the, the, these, are, these, are, these are numbers that go, not, that, that go into nothing but themselves and one. Can you figure out which one is a prime number here? Well, let's see. 5 is a prime number. What else? 20 goes into 2, 2 20, uh, 10 goes into something, 20 goes into something, none of these are. Anything else here? Ah, you see, 2 is a prime number. Two, 
2 is a prime number? Why is 2 a prime number? It's an even number. Why is it a prime number? Because it fulfills the, 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 the definition of a prime number. Prime number is something that goes only into itself and 1. What can you divide 2 into? By 1 and itself. And therefore, even though 2 is an even number, it qualifies as a prime number. So it's a prime number right here. So we found two numbers that are prime numbers, which are factors of 100. Our job is to locate the greatest prime factor among these. Well, there happens to be only two, and of the two, the greatest one, no, not the greatest one, that will be in proper English, the greater one, even though they ask for the greatest, but we don't have more than two, there is only two. So the, among the two, the greater one is this one, five. I'm going to put a circle around it. Let's look at this guy here. This is a prime factor, 2 is a prime factor of 38, and so is 19. So there are only two prime factors of 38. So again, we cannot talk about the greatest one. The greater among the two is 19. Well, if you want 10 points in this problem, all you have to do is tell me the sum of these two, and you're done. This is M. He's calling, I think. This is N. So 5 plus 19. The greatest prime factor of 100, they're calling it, I think I reversed uh, the order. 38 comes first and 100 comes uh, later in the problem, so this, that doesn't matter. It's n plus n. And the answer is 24. The answer choice is C. That's it. So as you can see, the hard problems are not hard on the SAT because they involve complicated math, which is why I always tell my students when I do private tutoring, I do private tutoring also, face-to-face -face private tutoring in, in the state of Connecticut and around. And when I'm teaching face-to-face uh, -face somebody, I try to explain to them that uh, hard questions on the SAT are not hard because they involve complicated math and calculus and trigonometry and differential equations and all that. No, that's not the reason why they are hard. They are hard because they involve some thing, some kind of thinking that some people, uh, a lot of people in their either in their laziness or in their haste forget to do. For example, here a lot of people miss out probably 19. 19 is the greatest prime factor here, and 5 is here. We just simply add them up, that's all. There is nothing to it. There's not much I can say about this question than, more than that. Uh, thank you for watching, and again, send me a comment or send me an email if you wish to purchase the DVD, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.